Division Center. The Philippine Energy Company, PEC, was one of the largest corporations in the world. It has consistently landed in Fortune's top 500 corporations outside U.S. The PEC was incorporated in 1973 as a government corporation in response to the energy crisis during that period. The Solar Section The Solar Section under the non-conventional department holds office on the second floor with the laboratory and test facilities in the modules downstairs. The section conducts studies on solar terminal conversion system, photovoltaic system applications, and solar energy storage, employing various media. It is also responsible for the development of locally applicable methods and standards for testing the performance in their... Dr. Mariana Lidgao, Manager of the Center for Energy Research and Development, a division of the Philippine Energy Company, or PEC, was in his office one early morning in June 1984 when his secretary informed him of employees' request for an appointment with him before lunchtime. Good morning, sir. Come in. How are you? Okay, good for you. Sir, I am ashamed to tell you about this. Uh, and I don't know how to start it. But sir, before I put it in writing, I would like it to say to you verbally. Sir, I am quitting as the analysis of the solar center. But why? Are you not happy about what you do? A little. But you see, this center is not the right place for me. And of course, I have my own personal reason. Why? I'm turning into your voice. You are the one of the best quality of stuff. We have here, Cynthia. As far as I know, you are the higher than the others in the same position. As you are the center, I can't understand why you should. Anyway, if you like, we can transfer you in another section. Think about it. Let's talk to you about it. Okay, sir. I'll think about it. But of course, I love this company. After that discussion, Sylvia immediately went up to her room at the second floor of the two-story building. She sat down behind her desk, borrowed some newspapers, and read the whole morning. After having lunch at 11.30, she went to sleep until 1. She sat idly the whole day and stood up only when answering phone calls. At 4, she left the office to fetch her children who were studying at the nearby school. Sylvia had been an NSGB scholar in college and she joined the UE faculty right after graduation. She was already assistant chairman of the Department of Physics when she decided to leave and join the UP Physics Department instead. She held the rank of assistant professor and had been teaching physics for eight years prior to her joining the company in 1982. It's kind of boring here. I don't know what to do. I'm done with my projects. What will I do? Somehow, I feel I don't like to work here anymore. It's a math room. You are bored? Why don't you try teaching again? Part time. Do you think you can apply again? I don't know. I hope they need one. I can teach before and after office hours. But if I teach, then my total take home pay will be about the same as Tony. I don't like that to happen. In fact, now I notice that Tony is becoming insecure because I because I already have MS. He is only an engineer. Even he take board exam twice. It's quite difficult. You know, because because I am more intellectual than he is. That's why I try that's why I try hard to adjust. Lower myself a bit. You know the people here.
because the management in the training section gets to know the opportunities first. They grab them first, even if it is not their line of work. They will ask inputs from you, and they will be the ones to go. That's why they get to attend all the training program. There are plenty of chances abroad, but I never had the chance to go. Joey instead would tell his problem to the German consultant who was a very vocal guy, telling everybody that he should be doing something. Somehow, this consultant got information on the salaries received by each of the staff in spite of the confidentiality rule on salary rates. were saying behind her back through the secretary who was already a close friend of hers perhaps because they were the only two women in the section but sylvia just strung this off and went on with her frequent absenteeism and lives during office hours hey you know i think you're right they need physics teacher in the UK, and i love to go back there Yes, you can work part-time. Oh, not part-time. I would like to resign from this job. Oh, nobody recognizes my abilities and skills because I'm not participating in them. Oh, well, they are males and I am a woman. Huh. But that's not my job and I am analysis and my work is to analyze. The data they obtain from the film or from the installation. I admit that they have all males, but being a woman, sometimes it's too glamorous. Huh. Now I can pursue it. Anyway, Tony has no objection about it. I could also have more time for my kids, especially to my youngest daughters. She is one and a half years old, and you know that. Please don't preside. At about the first week of July, rumors spread fast that the company-wide retrenchment program was imminent. This was in line with the objective of the company to be cost-efficient. I don't know if these are true, but rumors have that the company will revenge some of the employees. Oh yes, Sylvia, you got the four here. The first two was chosen because they are already undefined. We heard the PMT. In the states already. The other two are for the efficiency. Has the list been finalized? I know it is improper for me to ask, but I was wondering if I could. But you see, the decision were based on efficiency, on the merits rating. Why do you consider what I told you before, huh? Meanwhile, I really don't like let you go in seniors. We have a, 
have a practice later. Good morning, class. Oh, good morning, morning.